Bobby Jean Carter, the sister of pop stars Nick and Aaron Carter, has died. A cause of death has been determined for Aaron Carter. According to the Los Angeles County Medical Examiner Coroner, the 34-year-old drowned after inhaling difluoroethane and taking alprazolam. Do you ever worry that you could ever overdose? I mean, there's always that worry, but there's also the fact that I had to kiss my sister goodbye in the coffin. The Carter family has lost another family member. In 2012, their sister passed away due to an overdose. In 2017, their father died of a heart attack. Recently, Aaron Carter's body was found in his bathtub, and now his sister, Bobby Jean, has also died. There's a lot of darkness surrounding this family, and some things aren't adding up. So let's get into it. So we've talked about the Carter family before on my channel, for better or for worse, typically for worse, because you guys know I got into it with Nick Carter and then Aaron Carter like mysteriously passed away, which we will touch on that in a moment. But I want to talk about another lesser known Carter sibling who unfortunately passed away. Now we learned their sister, Bobby Jean Carter, had passed away on Saturday morning. Their mother, Jane, said, I am in shock learning of the sudden death of my daughter. I will need time to process the terrible reality of this happening for the third time. And by the third time, she's referring to Bobby and then of course, Aaron Carter, who recently passed away. And then another one of her daughters back in 2012, Leslie Carter passed away as well. And you guys know it's really tough for a parent to lose a child. So my heart goes out to their mother because that's a lot of children to lose. And I mean, now we've just got what? Like Nick Carter standing with all of these charges against him, but we'll hold on that. According to TMZ, the 41-year-old passed away the morning of December 23rd in Florida. In a statement to the outlet, Bobby Jean's mother, Jane Carter, says, I am in shock from learning of the sudden death of my daughter, Bobby Jean, and I will need time to process the terrible reality of this happening for the third time. Now, Bobby's only 41 years old, but sources claim that she went into cardiac arrest and that's how she died. But there aren't any details of what led up to her going into cardiac arrest, because keep in mind, she's like 41. We don't know if she had any heart issues, but a lot of times other situations push you towards cardiac arrest. I mean, it could be drugs, but we don't know. But Bobby's death comes after she was arrested in June after she allegedly stole stickers and markers from Hobby Lobby. She was allegedly found to have drugs on her person. So she had drugs on her, she got in trouble for that, probably in more trouble than she would have gotten for just like stealing stickers and markers. But I mean, what was she thinking there? Also keep in mind that the Carter family, like they're pretty well off. So why isn't Nick taking care of his sister and she's out here stealing markers from the store? Because she did get caught up in trouble, she was charged with one count of retail theft and possession of fentanyl. Honestly, I took it up to the fentanyl because she only stole about $50 worth of product. So she's clearly not thinking right. She's going through mental health struggles and it's playing out in the public eye because of the family she comes from. She herself was never as big of a star as her brothers are, but um, she's remained in the scene in the public eye because of their relationship. The employees at Hobby Lobby saw her put the markers into her purse, so they called police, and when police caught up with her, she was panicking, removing a blue powder container from her purse and then throwing it under the loss prevention desk, so trying to hide that she had these drugs with her. She was hauled into arrest on Saturday, June 14, 2023, on the allegation that she had stolen products from a Hobby Lobby store situated in Florida and that she was in possession of fentanyl. According to the police report, she made a threat to end her own life when she was being brought to jail, which resulted in her being placed on suicide watch. When they later tested the drugs, they found 1.3 grams of white powder and 0.8 grams of a purple powder. It turns out both of these powders, I don't know what drugs they were, but they both had fentanyl in them. And keep in mind that Bobby is a mother. She's got a daughter named Bella, and I can't imagine what Bella is going through seeing her mother struggle on this. When Bobby was caught, she did not handle it well. She was being processed by the county jail when she threatened to hurt herself, saying that she would take her own life, so then she was 
was placed under suicide watch. So clearly she got caught up. She was not like she didn't know how to cope with it. And I feel like a lot of people go through those emotions when they first get in trouble. I mean, you can't I can't imagine myself in prison or jail. I mean, I would be panicking. I feel like I would just die in that moment. So, Bobby, I totally relate to you here. Now, because of these charges, she was arrested. But unfortunately, this wasn't her first time getting in trouble with the law. Now, this may have been the first time that Bobby found herself in jail, but it's not the first time that she's been wrapped up in addiction and substance abuse. So maybe this arrest was a wake up call for Bobby, but really it wasn't. I think she just found herself so deep in her addiction. And we know that she struggled with substance abuse because she's been open about this in the public, it's been like a decade battle for her. Unfortunately, we see a theme with these kids when it comes to Aaron and Bobby's drug use, and it makes me question what's going on in the home. And there's no doubt in my mind that they came from a dysfunctional household, especially because they were placed into the industry as young kids. On top of that, Jane, their mother, She's had her moments. I mean, recently she was arrested for domestic battery, which stemmed from an altercation over the volume of the TV. People have way too much time on their hands to be fighting over the TV volume, but I guess there was a male in her home. They were arguing over the TV because he wanted to go to sleep, but Jane wanted to watch her show. Both had allegedly been drinking and this resulted in them getting physical with each other. Supposedly, Jane grabbed his wrist while trying to get the remote and then from there it escalated during the altercation he actually took a video of the dispute which he showed deputies prior to the arrest she wasn't locked up long she was released on a 100 dollars bond which is pretty cheap now if you guys have been following my channel for a while you know aaron's story you know nick's story but i want to quickly mention their sister who passed away in 2012 because while we don't know how bobby passed away whether it was drug induced we do know that leslie carter died back in 2012 as a result of an overdose it's so sad to see this family plagued by this disease because addiction is a disease and i can't imagine what they're all going through and how their minds work especially seeing their family just slowly fall apart and losing them to this battle. I mean, now we just have Nick and Angel Carter, and then we've got Bobby's daughter, Bella. So there's really not a lot of survivors. While we know that Leslie died of a drug overdose, and we know that Aaron allegedly died of a drug overdose, there's still some questions surrounding Aaron's passing. And a lot of that stems from his prior social media use, because he used to warn his fans that there are people coming after him. And his mother, Jane, isn't buying the notion that he died of an overdose. She actually posted on Facebook writing, I'm trying to get a real investigation for the death of my son. She said that the police just wrote off this passing as an overdose because of his addiction and his past with drugs. But she's saying, looking at these photos, there's no way you can deny that there's something sketchy going on here and the police need to look into some foul play. Aaron Carter's mom has made a, uh, a, a pretty remarkable decision. She has decided she wants the world to see the death scene where the, the bathroom where Aaron was found dead. And the reason for this is she is calling out the police, feels like they did not do a proper investigation here because she is certainly insinuating that there may have been foul play involved. Keep in mind that Aaron's body was found in the bathtub and they assumed that he had drowned because of the drugs he was on. Jane is absolutely convinced someone was out to get her son, Aaron. And she points to plenty of people, including alleged drug dealers. Jane also claims that the cops did not do a thorough welfare check when they went to Aaron's home the night before his body was found. So maybe Jane is convinced that someone was out to get her son, but the autopsy doesn't lie. Maybe he was drugged up and put into this bathtub and convenient drowned but in his system they found Xanax they found um another form of Xan or Alprazolam that's like a Xanax too right yeah Alprazolam he also was inhaling a lot of those canisters you know that air getting high off of it we see Drake Bell driving with his, with his three-year-old son in the back while he's inhaling these air canisters so um, there was a lot going on in his system. According to the Los Angeles County Medical Examiner Coroner, the 34-year-old drowned after inhaling difluoroethane and taking alprazolam. Difluoroethane is a gas often used in cans of compressed air, while alprazolam is the generic form of brand name Xanax. The report, which has been obtained by People, states that Carter was incapacitated while in the bathtub as the drugs took effect.
The singer then slipped under the surface of the water and ultimately drowned. He was found dead at his home in Lancaster, California on November 5th. Police sources told people at the time that he was found in his bathtub by a house sitter and that there were prescription pills and drug paraphernalia in his bedroom. Now, we don't know how Aaron's dad died as a result of the heart attack. Like, was it a natural occurring heart attack or was it also drug induced? But this entire family, they're just disappearing. Throughout his life, Aaron was open about his struggles with addiction, substance abuse, and mental health. And even despite him going through all of these personal struggles, people around him, including his long-term partner, Melanie, cannot believe that this drug combination overcame him, especially because he was so deep into his addiction. Melanie says they claim his death is by drowning, but also adds he was wearing a t-shirt and necklace in the bathtub, which doesn't make sense. I mean, why would he be in the bathtub with clothes on? I'm still in shock and I miss Aaron every day. I don't understand the chain of events and this report only has us asking more questions. I don't know if we'll get the answers to those questions and Aaron's death, but to see this family fall apart it's really hard to watch and i'm sending love to all of those who are still holding on but i want to hear what you guys think in the comments below leave your thoughts and i'll see you in a new one soon bye guys